Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to detect a rising edge in the signal in your simulating model in MATLAB R23 A version. So let's begin. So first and foremost, we will create a new simulating model. So it may take a while to load. We will choose blank model and let the model be created. It may take a moment. Once the model is untitled uh, model is created, we can first save it. I just press Ctrl S and I can name this anything. So probably I name it as rising is detection model. Okay, you can name this anything. It doesn't matter. Click save and wait for the model to get saved. Yeah. So in this first and foremost, let's create a very simple uh, um, some kind of um model using basic blocks which we will use to then get the our rising edge so i'm just using a sine and a cosine probably uh yeah and probably i'll take a sum block also to sum the inputs i want a rectangular one that's what i prefer and this add it like this and then I will also add a, a scope okay and in a scope I will probably yeah I think I know this I can minimize yeah the input to this will be clock the time the current time of the simulation time whatever and I can just what would I do one thing I'll just at least not do the same input I'll modify it the input to this one so it will cost of 2t plus sign t that's my function over here so this is done this is done i'll change it to two yeah okay now let me quickly simulate and see how the output comes up so perfect so this is the output of my model block the input model so say for example in this we have to detect the rising case whenever it starts rising we have to detect that so let's see how we can do that but before that i'll do one thing i'll just convert this into a subsystem so just select that and create this so and this will be my subsystem or my model okay now we'll detect the rising edge in this so if you simulate this the digital will seem of course because it's the same circuit which is inside so let's do see how we can so first and foremost, we'll convert it into a kind of a step uh, function. So I'll just put a delay. Let me first complete. Yeah, and then I will use the same signal output to delay it, and then I will use a difference block. So basically, that's nothing but yeah. First one will be plus, and then delay will be minus. So if I expand it, so this comes here and this goes here. So yeah, and now the output of this delay block or this uh, difference. So basically, this is uh, we are converting it into a kind of uh, yeah, I'm converting it into a kind of a more of a step uh, or a square waveform whenever there is a increase it will convert it into that so let me just complete my model quickly so i'll just use switch block to do this and switch block also i could probably make it a little bit bigger bring the here and i'll add two constant block one will be of value one over here and other will be of value zero so whenever this is high it will go for a value 1 otherwise it will go for value 2 and I will also do one thing in this I uh, will change the number of input ports and I will change the layout also so that we can visualize it in a separate window yeah so I can close this perfect so now I am rerunning it to quickly see how it turns up yeah so this is what I wanted to show you every time I can convert this my waveform into a kind of mode of a square or a step kind of waveform 
A step is not a correct word. I mean, it's a more of a square or rectangle away from the same. Yeah. No, but however, we don't want this. We we actually want it a kind of just it detects the rising edge and then goes back to zero. We don't want it to hover over a uh, higher side. So let's see how we can do that. So we have to convert this into a kind of pulse signal is what we can say. So I'll do one thing. I'll convert this also into another subsystem. I'll just like this. Create subsystem out of it. And I'll make uh, name this subsystem as what? Uh, probably uh, rectangular rectangular waveform perfect you can export it also as a library or whatever you want as a subsystem block but yeah uh, or a moderation block but yeah i want to keep it like this only now what else i'll do is i'll uh, create a edge detection block so let me do that so again i'll use a delay block over here with a delay of one and the output of this will go in to the delay Perfect and same. I think we, no, 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 instead of difference, I don't think I needed difference. I need to subtract. So, what I can do it is instead of summation block, I can also use this minus block. So, rather than changing the sign, so it's the same thing. Yeah. So, I just use this one for minus and this one for plus. Yeah. Okay, and then I'll use the switch block as I used the last time. So almost concept is same, but there'll be a slight change. So here what I'll do is, rather than uh, putting a separate constant block, I'll just use the same signal as the, my positive signal whenever the condition is true. And for the condition false, I will use a constant block with value zero. Perfect. So let me just maximize this this yeah an output of this i can again display in this summation block let me do one thing quickly i let me change the again this three and layout should be also three okay and i close this i can put this as the right third one perfect okay and now I'm not sure what he's saying so yeah that's fine i'll just uh, simulate this and see how it comes up perfect so whenever there is a the change in the direction of the waveform it goes towards the positive side it triggers this one and it shows as a pulse signal over here you can also do one thing to get a much more sharper uh, image so we can change it to a fixed step solver and with a time period of probably 0 0.1 let's see how it comes up and perfect it, it looks much more sharper in all right yeah so i can increase probably increase the time period to 20 and rerun it to see how it comes up yeah see so whenever there is a direction on the positive side this gets towards the one the rectangular waveform however this Rising edge detection just detects whenever it's going towards the upside. So here it's going upside, so it's directed over here. However, once it starts falling, it will not direct, and then again it changes the direction over here. So the moment the direction is changed, it's directing over here, and then again it's falling, and again whenever so yeah, whenever there is a change in the direction, it just gets that as a positive and then shows it as a uh, rising edge uh, detection. Yeah, so that's all. Let me just make it a little more concise over here. Probably. I can bring this a bit closer. Yeah. So these are just uh, cosmetic things. So somehow this is a good model practice to yeah and all these lines should be in a proper way yeah so that's all uh, i just wanted to show you uh, how to date the change in the direction towards the rising side in your signal uh, you can yeah yeah by first converting into some kind of square waveform and then you can also use it as a pulse waveform whatever you prefer in your model 
So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.